पॉलीगन लॉ इफ एवरी साइड ऑफ अ पॉलीगन रिप्रेजेंट्स अ वेक्टर विच पॉलीगन सर एनी पॉलीगन एनी पॉलीगन विच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट पॉलीगन ट्राइंगल सो आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद द ट्राइंगल बट द लॉ इज वैलिड फॉर एनी नंबर ऑफ साइड इफ एवरी साइड ऑफ अ पॉलीगन रेप्रेजेंट्स अ वेक्टर ओके देन दे आर सम टेकन इन अ साइक्लिक ऑर्डर इज जीरो वेक्टर साइक्लिक ऑर्डर वट इज दैट मीन साइक्लिक ऑर्डर ए टू बी बी टू सी सी टू ए इन अदर वर्ड्स वॉट यूर सेइंग इज दैट ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो by all means by all means you know this why don't you apply the displacement example the displacement analogy which i taught you if i start from a my house is at a from a i went to b from a i went to b okay from b i went to c and then from c i am back to a again at my initial point what is my total displacement sir zero my total displacement is zero all of you agree so with the displacement analogy it does make sense yeah perfect in fact sir that way even the polygon law i think is the easiest statement why because no matter what polygon you make why don't you make a quadrilateral all right if i went from a to b from b i went to c random random shape from c i went to d from d i am back at a then my a to b ab vector b to c bc vector c to d cd vector and d to a da vector sum of all of them my total journey my total displacement will be equal to what zero nice this is nice polygon law is nice polygon law is already my favorite because it is the simplest when i try to understand with the displacement example you are free to use any analogy you want whatever floats your boat whatever makes you comfortable but sir here comes the question the question is how is this triangle law and two questions i have for you first is how is this triangle law second question is you have drawn a quadrilateral quadrilateral and triangle law how will they be same now fair question ready for the answer i will answer the second question first how can i apply triangle law in quadrilateral i can because a quadrilateral is made up of two triangles but that's the intrigue i wanted to give you let me solve it methodically are we ready sure ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 0 all right so ab plus bc plus ca equal to 0 is the polygon law sure all right okay ab plus bc is equal to minus ca what did i just do nothing i took the ca that side am i allowed to do that or not of course i am allowed to do that ab plus bc plus ca is equal to 0 this is a statement of polygon law i took ca term that side on the rhs if i take the rhs to the rhs the sign changes it becomes a minus c allowed allowed recall what i taught you from the last session if this is a vector ab vector ab and somebody multiplies the vector ab by minus sign what is minus ab minus ab is the same vector minus ab is the same vector but opposite direction that means head becomes the tail and tail becomes the head that means minus ab will be nothing but a head b tail isn't it same as b a vector the concept of negative vector a minus 1 in front of a vector changes its orientation changes its direction without changing its magnitude do you recall that yes sir then do you recall or do you apply 
If I want to let go, if I want to remove, if I want to eradicate, if I want to get rid of this minus sign, what do I do? Simple, sir. Change the order of the vector. All right, sir. I did. So minus CA became AC. Are you sure with that? Yeah. Look at the figure on the right carefully. Is this triangle law? AB plus BC is equal to AC. Wow. It is triangle law. All right. So what was the one on the extreme left? Polygon law. What is the one on the extreme right? Triangle law. Are they the same things? Yes, sir. They are the same things. Absolutely. 